Hi, I'm Dave Ford. In this screencast, I'm going to show a simple tip of adding screen tip labels on top of an image within PowerPoint. Now, in previous screencasts, I've shown how it is possible to use hyperlinking so that you can jump to different slides and then bring up different information, which is, I think, far more effective, but it takes a lot longer. This technique is very, very simple, and it allows us uh, to just work within a single slide. So here's an example. Here I've got an image, and I've just taken an image that I used a few years ago when I was running a teacher training session of the things that I would carry around in my bag typically. Now if I hover over my bag, you can see it brings up a little screen tip that tells me a bit about the bag. Similarly, my juggling balls, there's a little screen tip that pops up. And this is what it is that I'm talking about. Okay, It's just labelling the image to give additional information. So I'll show you how easy it is to achieve this effect. So first of all, we have the image uh, the slide that we're going to work on. I'm just going to zoom in slightly to make it a bit bigger for us. Uh, what we need to do is we need to draw an object on top of the image that is going to become the hotspot. So if I click here you can see there's a, a shape on top of my rucksack and then there's another shape, if I can find it, on top of the juggling balls which itself is the hotspot. So I'm going to go insert and shapes. Now you can either use a regular shape like a rectangle or something like that. So for my laptop, I'm going to use just a rounded rectangle which will fit over the top of the laptop like that. And I can make that a bit bigger if I want to. Uh, and that works quite nicely. If, however, I want to do an irregular shape, the thing that I tend to use is the freeform option. Now it's under the lines uh, sort of section, and there's this shape here, which if you hover over it, it says freeform. So I'm going to do um, my sort of USB stick with the lanyard attached to it. Now, because it's not a regular shape, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click at some point on one of the corners of it. I'm then going to move my mouse to another corner and click, move to another corner, click. And basically, every time I click my mouse, it's kind of adding a corner to my shape, which will be eventually an irregular sort of shape. So if I then get back to the start, and I double click, it will finish it off. And you can see I've drawn an irregular shape around uh, my target. And all I would do is I would go through and I would keep doing this with different shapes. Um, I mean, I could have probably used a rectangle here, but I'll just use another freeform just to show it to you. So click, click, double click when you get to the end, and you can see I've got different shapes. Now, I would have completed this with all the um, objects within my picture but I'll just do those three for now. What I then need to do is I need to add the screen tip. Now, the way we do this is we actually use the hyperlink tool. Now I could right click and insert a hyperlink or I could do control K or I can go to the insert menu and hyperlink. It doesn't matter we just choose the hyperlink option. Now we're going to choose a place in this document and then we're going to choose to link to the slide that we're on. So, it, so you don't actually go anywhere if you click on it. Uh, so you, you, you choose whichever slide you are on. Now the key is this button at the top right corner that says screen tip. So what you need to do here is type in whatever it is that you want to appear. So I'm going to type laptop um, used for everything. And you can put a reasonable amount of text in here if you want to. And then you go on to the next one. Okay, hyperlink. So choose the slide that we're on, choose a screen tip, and that's USB stick. So it contains a backup of the files I need for the session, okay. etc. So you would do that for all of the objects within your uh, image. Then the final thing we need to do is make these so that they are transparent so you don't see them. Now if I hold my finger on the shift key, and I click on each one in turn, I can select all of them in one go. Uh, you can either go to the format menu or you can right click and do format object but basically what we're looking to do is where it says shape fill you could choose the no fill option. Uh, I personally choose more fill colors and I make the transparency a hundred percent. It just works very very slightly better in certain situations and then I do shape outline and on this one I can do no outline. So I've made it so it's got no fill and no outline, and that will then mean that the shapes are invisible. If I run the slideshow from my current slide, when I hover over the laptop, it shows me what I've typed. Hover over the uh, lanyard in the USB stick.